everyone, it's Patty. So I just wanted to come on here and give like a quick pregnancy update and life update and kind of let you guys know what's going on. For those of you who don't know, I am pregnant. We are expecting our third child. I will um, leave the pregnancy announcement video and list it in the description box. Uh, down below, but we are super excited. The baby is due in December. We do not know the gender yet. We find we are going to find out though. We find out at around 20 weeks. I bypass all the like blood tests at 13 weeks, so I don't get to find out until about like 19, 20 weeks when they do that like big ultrasound and all of that stuff. So we are super excited. I am going to be 15 weeks tomorrow. So yes, it's going by really fast. I have felt really good. I have really smooth pregnancies um, for the most part. Like I don't really um, get too much morning sickness. I have a little bit, I get a little bit of nausea the first trimester. It's really strange. I've never thrown up in any of my pregnancies. And this time, this week, I didn't throw up my first trimester and then this week I threw up twice. So I think it was because of the time of day I was taking my prenatal vitamin. Normally I take it later in the day and I sometimes I would forget. So I started taking it like first thing right after breakfast and I kept throwing up for some reason. So I stopped doing that and since then I've been fine. So um, I just am really tired. <laughs> I think part of that is having two other kids to keep up with and I just get tired. I take naps a lot. Um, Hunter has been going through like a sleep regression um, where he is just not sleeping as much as he used to. Like he used to take three hour naps and sleep pretty much from 7.30 to 7.30 at night, like 12 hours and then the three hour nap. Where now he's going down, like he's sleeping from 7.30 to like 6.30, sometimes earlier. And then he's taking like an hour and a half nap. So I'm hoping he's te he's getting his last set of molars. So I'm hoping um, he'll go back to sleeping. And then because the kids sleep right next to each other and they share a room, whenever Hunter wakes up, he wakes up Leah. So then she wakes up tired. And it's been a rough couple of weeks of that. So I've been really tired because of that. But I always take nap time to rest and that really helps me so so far I've been feeling good um, I'm gonna do pregnancy updates by trimester um, not like weekly just because nothing really that exciting happens um, in every pregnancy I gain a ton of weight um, the other two pregnancies I gained 50 pounds I usually lose the weight within the first three to four months of after having the baby so I've been able to lose the weight pretty fast but I do gain a lot of weight something comes over me where like I get very very hungry and I'm not usually the type of person to have a big appetite um so I always get super hungry and I just crave really bad food I don't eat the same as I normally eat I don't make as good of choices so I gain a lot of weight. I do want to watch my sugar intake because I have heard a few um, people have developed like gestational diabetes with their third pregnancy. So I crave sweets a lot while I'm pregnant so I just want to try to be careful with that. Um, and sometimes I've heard that it doesn't go away after that. So I want to be careful but so far so good. Um, I've been feeling good and um, nothing too exciting. I'm just excited to find out the gender. Leah obviously is most excited because she is actually going to be four on Friday. So this is Wednesday. She's going to be four on Friday. So she understands completely what's going on and she's super excited. She really wants a sister. <laughs> so and Hunter, I feel like it would be really fun to have a sister for Leah. But I feel like Hunter is always outnumbered because my husband is at work a lot. So it's always us girls. Um, so I feel like if we get another girl, he's done for. <laughs> So, um, either way, we'd be excited. I kind of, we would like four kids, so I think it would be awesome to have, like, a girl now and then a boy after. I think that would be really fun, like, but I know it doesn't always work out that way. So, anyways, I'm excited to find out, um, and yeah, we'll see. We have names picked out for either gender, so we just are going to wait and see. Um, life updates. I'm sure a lot of you are wondering like what we're going to do since we're living with my parents to save for a house. 
and all of that. Our goal is to have a house by the time the baby comes. So right now we're going through the process of applying for grants and we are um, trying to, uh, like once we get the grants, then we go and get pre-approved. So our goal for the month of July is to get all of that done and then to start looking in August. So we're hoping we have a miracle house and the market here is really expensive and not it's not proportionate to like how much people make so especially since we're one income family it's not it's one of the most expensive areas in the country and unfortunately this is where all our family is so we want to stay by family um so it's it's a challenge but we are excited to see what's ahead and we're praying that we can find something we know we're not going to be buying our forever home just because we're not ready um, for that investment and right now the market is really high so we probably we are praying that we can find like a house that maybe we can fix up but most likely we'll end up in a townhouse just because they are less expensive um but they still um, are great for like a family or whatever. So, um, but we'll see what we can find and I will keep you guys updated along the way with that. But if um, we, we don't want to get ourselves into a hole either just because we're rushing because the baby's coming. So if we don't find anything that we feel like is what our family needs, then we'll continue to keep looking and the baby will just sleep in our room while we continue to look. But it would be awesome if we could be in our own place by the time um, we have the baby and it's just fun to spend Christmas in your own house and you guys know how much I love decorating so it would be so sad if I can't decorate for Christmas but that's kind of our goal and our timeline of things so we would really like to get into a house before um, the baby comes it would be ideal like October November but um, we also don't want to rush it where it's not really what we wanted so we're kind of open and just gonna see where it goes but the kids are doing well like I said Leah turns four on Friday and they just are maturing so much Hunter is um, talking a ton and um, he just is really like he picks up whatever Leah does and copies whatever she does so that is really great um, so life has just been crazy I know I've been very inconsistent with videos and um, part of that is because of the pregnancy although I haven't been sick I've been very tired and a lot of times when I film is at night so sometimes I don't have the energy to film and edit so I have been tired I know the videos have been inconsistent but that is part of it also um, just getting all the housing things ready is keeping us busy the kids are going through so many developmental changes and then also Chris was in a recent car accident he is okay, um, but he did um, get like an injury, so he's been, we've been running to doctors a lot and stuff like that, so um, he's okay, thankfully, but we're down to one car, so that has been keeping us busy too, so um, videos are probably going to stay inconsistent until we are like in our own place because we're going to be so busy looking and all of that stuff so probably until we get our own place they're not going to be i'm not going to be on a set schedule so i'm hoping um once i we're in our own place then i can start doing housing videos again and just all those homemaking and decorating videos that i love to do um it's not as easy to do those when you're not in your own house so um i'm looking forward to doing those again so um, that's kind of why my schedule has been all over the place. I know a few of you have asked and I so appreciate it. It makes me feel so loved and encouraged. So um, I appreciate those who reached out and asked. Um, so yeah, if you have any questions, I'm sure this was like kind of rambly, but if you have any question, let me know in the, uh, in the comments down below. And then um, hopefully I covered everything though that's going on in our lives. And then... Um, I will do like a gender reveal video and then like I said I'll do a pregnancy update every by trimester it's just my pregnancies nothing is very exciting it's pretty much the same thing every time so there's not anything huge like I mentioned I crave a lot of sweets and horrible food so that's kind of what there is and that's it so anyways I hope you enjoyed uh, kind of getting an update and I just want to give you a quick bum shot. Here is the belly. It's kind of, I'm wearing a looser shirt, so it's kind of hard to tell. 
but it is definitely the biggest belly I've ever had, probably because it's my third. But yeah, we're excited. So anyways, I hope you enjoyed getting that update. And like I said, if you have any questions, let me know down in the comments down below in case I miss anything. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.